Okay, welcome back. We're gonna get started with the coding portion of implementing the UI Picker Controller. So to go over what we went over last video, what we need to do is we need to request photo library access. After we request the photo library access, we then need to include the UI image picker controller delegate into our class header and our navigation controller delegate into the header. Then we'll create an instance of a UI image picker controller and we'll implement the methods for the UI image picker controller delegate to make it work. Last but not least, we're going to set some of the um, picker details and this is really going to be done probably before the implementation of the delegate, the image picker delegate um, functions, but it can really be done in any order. So let's get started. Okay, so here we are in the code. The first thing we said we wanted to do was request access. Now in our previous video, we actually did that by going into the info plus file and adding this request here for the photo library with the, with the description of saying that we want to use it to upload photos. So now that that's done, what we want to do next, the first thing we want to do is add our UI image view controller delegate and the UI navigation controller delegate to our class header. So we're just going to do comma UI image, I'm sorry, UI image picker controller delegate and our UI navigation controller delegate to our class header. And that's it. So after we do that, what we need to do is we need to have an event that's going to trigger the picker to load. So our event is going to be when our user clicks on our button. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select the button and drag it into our code. I'm going to drag it up here and I'm going to select connection is going to be an action and our action is going to be to get photo from the library. Okay. And I'm just going to move this down here because this is what we want to do when we click, click the button. So the first thing we have here is we want to create an instance of an image picker controller. All right, that's relatively simple. So we're just gonna say let picker equal UI image picker controller. And that's it. So now we have an instance of a UI image picker controller stored in this variable called picker. Okay, so I'm gonna say picker.delegate is equal to self. So you're gonna self manager. Okay, so this UI image picker controller is going to manage our delegate for this um, view. So when it's selected, that way we can bring up the photo library and select the photo and it's going to handle all of that for us. The next thing we want to do is we want to set some of the details for the picker. So once we actually go into our library and select the photo, things like, is the picture going to be editable? Are we going to be able to zoom into the picture or not? Since last video, since the last profile video I completed, um, I decided to allow for editing. I will not allow in this video and I will link uh, for those that are interested in knowing how to allow for you, to allow users to do things like zoom into the picture, I'll link that video below. But for this one, what we're going to do is we're going to say the picker dot allow editing is equal to false. So we this. So basically, we want the photo as is. Okay. Now our source type is going to be our photo library, as we t said before. So we want to get a picture from our photo library. So I'm going to type picker dot source type is going to be equal to our photo library. All right, doing good. So next we want to select what types of media. Next, we're going to set our media type. So what we're going to do is we're going to say picker dot media type. So what we want is whatever we have in our image picker controller, 
that available media types that are in our photo library. All right, now, and this actually, it wants to be unwrapped. Okay, and finally, we're just going to display our picker. So picker dot, no, actually, I'm sorry, present our picker. And you can actually, let's do the crew picker. The animation is going to be true, and we're not going to do a completion block for this. All right, so let's run that and see what that looks like. All right. So I'm going to select the profile. I'm going to edit this profile. I'm going to select our photo library, and I'm just going to set it equal to that. Now, as you notice, nothing updated. The library picked up. I was able to pick a photo, but nothing updated in our uh, image view. And that is because we didn't do the most important part. As I said before, we the, the system Xcode won't yell at us for not implementing these functions, but it won't work. So we have to tell uh, the program or the app exactly what we wanted to do when a photo, when a photo is selected and also what we want to do when the user hits cancel. So let's do that next. So what happens when the user selects a photo? So that's a function that's going to be in the UI image control. Blur. All right. So when our picker did finish, we're going to store the information into info. And I'm just going to, just like before, just move this down here because these are the things that we need to accomplish in this function. The first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to have a place to store the image. So let's create a variable here. And we're going to say it's chosen image is equal to a UI image. Then we're going to save, then we need to save are the image that the user selects into this variable. Now, where do we get that um, is from this here. So this info is where the information about um, our image is going to be stored. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to say that the chosen image is equal to info UI image And since we aren't actually editing the image here, it's going to be just the original image. Okay. And what I'm going to do really fast is I'm going to set um, a variable just to print this out so we can see what's in here. Whenever you don't know what something is or why we're doing something or why you're doing something or another tutorial watching and you don't understand why you're doing something, always print out what it is and, and just get an idea um, by looking at it to see exactly what it is, maybe why you're doing it. But so we're going to say that the original image, we want it returned as a UI image. So as an image, okay? So now we're storing the image that the user selects into this variable called chosen image. The next thing we want to do is update our our image here. So when we select the image, what we want to see is that it physically replaces the image that we already have in our image view. So let me scroll back up here. So our image view is called profile image view, and we're going to set its image property equal to chosen image. So the image that the user selects. Then the next thing we want to do is dismiss the image picker. So we're going to say dismiss. We're going to say true animation and we're going to not have a completion block. 
All right. So now we just need to handle the event that the user cancels and doesn't want to actually um, change the photo. So let's do that here. So I'm just going to start typing in function, UI image, or I guess image, picker controller did cancel. So if the user cancels, what do we want to do? And it's pretty simple. We just want to dismiss. And since we already did a dismiss here, I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to copy the end bracket because I just deleted it for some reason. All right. So it looks like all the warnings are gone or the errors are gone. So we're going to try to run this and see what happens. All right, so here's our app and this is our main page. If we go into our profile, select edit profile. And we're just going to, uh, as you see our photo library popped up, I can either choose to go from, to, from our moments or any other album I may have in here or my camera roll. I'm just gonna select the first one here. And as you see, it updates the image view. Now, next video, what we'll be doing is we'll be taking this image that is currently in our image view and saving it to our storage. This way, when the user logs in again, it updates to the new photo. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please comment below. Please subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. Um, anything that I missed here, any corrections that you see, that would be a super helpful. And I'll see you next time. Bye.